In a time when everything seems to want to break, from cell phones to vacuum cleaners, a car that promises to last for decades without giving you headaches sounds almost like science fiction. But that's exactly what Tesla is putting on the streets with the Model 2, scheduled for release in 2026. The proposal is not just to sell a vehicle, but to present a new production philosophy. When fewer things can go wrong, less money comes out of your pocket. And this idea begins long before the car takes shape. It all starts on the assembly line, or rather, on the line of extreme precision where almost nothing is left to chance. The Model 2 is born in one of the most meticulous environments ever created for manufacturing a car. We're talking about a production line monitored by 1-800 sensors that track in real time everything from the torque of each screw to the exact millimeter of each panel. If a single variable deviates from the standard, the system stops automatically. There's no such thing as, we'll fix it later. Tesla wants everything to be perfect before the car leaves the factory. And that changes the game when it comes to durability and reliability. One technical detail that goes unnoticed by many, but reveals the brand's level of obsession, is the so-called panel gap. While traditional cars tolerate gaps of up to 2.5 mm, the Model 2 keeps everything within a margin of zero, 4 to 0 0.6 mm. Does it seem like a small detail? But it's this kind of precision that prevents creaks, leaks, and even dust ingress over the years. It's the difference between feeling the car age every week or seeing it maintain the same look and quietness for more than a decade. And it doesn't stop there. Tesla uses a technology called Vision AI that measures these adjustments in real time. Imagine a smart camera analyzing every angle and alerting you if something is crooked. It's like having a robotic plastic surgeon working full time. This ensures not only a cleaner, more modern look, but also quieter aerodynamics, free from those annoying noises that appear over time. The feeling is of driving something that was sculpted not assembled. This obsession with perfection is reinforced by a system called SPC 2.0. Instead of waiting for the car to be finished to look for errors, the SPC monitors variations in temperature, vibration, and torque throughout the entire process. If something starts to deviate from the norm, even subtly, engineers intervene immediately. This not only reduces defects, but also anticipate solutions that other manufacturers would only discover after hundreds of customer complaints. And since we're talking about details that almost no one notices, it's worth mentioning the electrical and sealing tests. All Model 2s undergo a complete diagnostic of the high voltage systems, sensors, and modules. Then they are placed in a chamber that simulates a two hour storm. According to the JIS standard, the most rigorous in the industry. If a single drop of water enters the cabin, the car is sent back for adjustments. It's this type of testing that prevents unpleasant surprises after a few years of use. Another point that shows Tesla is playing on another level is the micrometric adjustments to the doors and seats. Robots measure even the parallelism of the hinges and the force needed to open each door. Does it seem excessive? Maybe. But it's this kind of care that means that after 10 years, you can still close the door with one finger without having to lift it or push hard. That's engineering designed to last and not just to look good on the first test drive. If Tesla's obsession with perfection begins in the assembly process, it intensifies even further when the statistical control system comes into play. The name is Pompous, SPC 2.0, but the effect is simple and brutally efficient. Instead of waiting for a problem to occur and then fixing it, the system predicts flaws before they even manifest. It's as if the car were built under the constant surveillance of a digital oracle, which identifies any dangerous trend before it becomes a headache for the owner. And this isn't just nice on paper. In practice, it reduced post-production problems by up to 70% in Tesla's internal tests. This continuous monitoring captures minute variations in torque, component temperature, module vibration, and even screw deviation. 
If a robot starts tightening screws with slightly less force than usual, for example, the system alerts the engineers. It may seem like nitpicking, but this level of vigilance is what prevents a simple looseness in the fitting from becoming a chronic noise in the door after a year of driving on bumpy roads. It's as if each screw is being watched by an invisible supervisor, 24 hours a day. And it's not just the car's nervous system that's tested to the limit. Tesla also decided to simulate the worst-case scenario to see if the Model 2 is truly ready for the real world. Every vehicle undergoes a battery of detailed electrical tests where every cable, sensor, and electronic module is inspected. Any sign of interference, noise, or anomaly, however small, takes the car off the main line and sends it directly for correction. Nothing escapes, not even the 12-volt systems, which many manufacturers treat as secondary, but which in Tesla are part of the whole. Right after this battery of diagnostics, the car goes through a kind of aquatic ordeal, the famous JIS standard rain chamber. For two long simulation cycles, intense jets of water hit the roof, doors, and all the body joints. A simple splash inside is enough to fail the test. And here's an interesting fact. This is the same standard used in extremely humid countries, like Japan. It makes sense, since a small infiltration today can mean mold, short circuits, and rust tomorrow. And honestly, nobody wants a car that turns into a swimming pool when it rains. But the most impressive detail, at least for those who have had to deal with an old car, is in the door hinges and seats. Tesla uses robots that align these components with microscopic precision. They analyze opening force, movement symmetry, and torque of the seat rails. This ensures that, even after thousands of openings and closings, the doors don't become heavy, misaligned, or have that unpleasant clicking sound that seems to announce the car's retirement. It's the kind of thing the owner only notices when they feel they no longer need to give that little help with their shoulder to close the door. And this care isn't a luxury. It's a long-term investment. Most car owners know that the first signs of aging appear precisely in these small flaws. A creaking seat, a door that no longer aligns, or a button that only responds when it wants to. The Model 2 seeks to avoid this cycle from the start. Instead of sweeping the problem under the rug, Tesla chose to build a structure where defects don't even get a chance to appear. And that's rare, especially in times when everything seems designed to last less. When discussing the true longevity of an electric car, everything inevitably converges on the battery. And it is precisely here that the Model 2, scheduled for 2026, begins to sound almost like something outside the current industry standard. Tesla is betting on an aluminum ion battery designed not only to last longer, but to completely change the logic of wear and tear. The promise revolves around something impressive. Between 8,000 and 10,000 complete charge cycles, the equivalent of up to 2 million miles driven. For those accustomed to hearing that the battery is the weak point of the electric car, this idea sounds almost provocative. The difference begins with the chemistry itself. While lithium batteries suffer from progressive degradation, internal expansion, and accelerated capacity loss, the aluminum ion architecture operates with much more stable behavior. The flow of ions is more uniform, reducing internal stresses. This means fewer microcracks, less structural stress, and ultimately, much less invisible aging happening inside the package. It's like replacing a rubber band that dries out over time with a spring designed to flex thousands of times without losing strength. One of the most interesting secrets lies in the three-layer internal structure of the anode. Instead of a rigid surface that experiences direct pressure during fast charging, Tesla uses an arrangement that distributes this force. The layers work together, absorbing and redistributing the electrical impact. This allows for frequent fast charging without causing cumulative damage, something that has always been the Achilles heel of traditional batteries. In practice, the owner can fast charge without that silent fear of slowly killing the battery. Another noteworthy point is its thermal behavior. 
The aluminum ion battery operates stably across an extremely wide temperature range from approximately 30 dig to above 50 dig C. This completely changes the game for those living in very cold or very hot regions. Unlike conventional batteries, which lose efficiency, range, and even safety in these extremes, this new chemistry maintains consistent performance. It's as if the car is always in an ideal climate, regardless of the surrounding environment. And when it comes to safety, the leap is even more evident. Aluminum ion chemistry virtually eliminates the risk of thermal runaway, that chain reaction responsible for fires in conventional batteries. In case of failure, the behavior tends to be stable, generating only localized heat without propagation. This drastically reduces the risks of fire, explosions, and total vehicle loss. For the average user, this translates into something simple, absolute peace of mind when charging in the garage, at work, or overnight. There is also a direct impact on cost and sustainability. Aluminum is much more abundant than lithium, cheaper, and infinitely easier to recycle. This reduces dependence on unstable supply chains and lessens the pressure on critical mining. Furthermore, it facilitates large-scale production, something essential for a model designed for mass adoption. It's no exaggeration to say that this choice helps explain how Tesla can promise an affordable car without sacrificing durability or technology. The practical result is curious. A battery that, in theory, lasts longer than the car itself. Instead of planning to replace the battery pack after a few years, the owner begins to see it as a permanent part of the vehicle. This completely changes the logic of total cost of ownership. The battery ceases to be a future liability and becomes a reliable, almost eternal asset, accompanying the vehicle for decades without significant performance loss. If the battery is the heart that pumps energy for millions of miles, the Model 2's physical structure is the skeleton that sustains that promise of longevity. And here comes one of Tesla's greatest feats to date, using a 50,000-ton gigapress to fuse almost the entire underside of the car into a single piece. It may seem like just another impressive number, but it represents a brutal shift in how a car is assembled. While conventional cars have hundreds of welded parts, the Model 2 reduces everything to practically a metallic sculpture. This changes everything, from noise resistance to the very soul of the car. Traditionally, an automotive chassis is a patchwork of metal. Between 300 and 400 welds connect the parts. Each weld is a weak point that can come loose, crack, or corrode over the years. By replacing this with a single piece with only 12 joining points, Tesla eliminates much of what normally weakens a car's structure over time. The result is something that behaves like a solid block, without the typical joint pains of an aging car. And it's not just robustness. The Model 2's torsional rigidity reaches up to 70,000 newton meters per degree of twist. For comparison, this value is 230% higher than the already praised Model Y. In practice, this means that the body twists much less when going over potholes, speed bumps, or aggressive curves. And the less twisting, the lower the risk of door misalignment, cracks in panels, internal noises, and gaps that appear over time. It's a body that remains firm even as the years go by, almost as if it doesn't age. This rigidity also has a direct impact on the driver's experience. With less torsion and fewer welds, there is less noise transmitted into the cabin. The Model 2 vibrates 28% less than conventional structures. And this isn't just a matter of comfort. Less vibration means less wear and tear on components attached to the chassis, such as seats, dashboard, and even electronic modules. In other words, each part suffers less and therefore lasts longer. But Tesla didn't stop at casting. They applied a coating called Gigalve Ultra, an anti-corrosion compound capable of protecting the structure against rust for up to 30 years. This is especially relevant for those living in cold regions where the use of salt on roads accelerates corrosion drastically. 
With this coating, the Model 2 practically eliminates one of the most common causes of deterioration in used cars, the silent advance of rust on the chassis. The combination of a cast structure and this level of protection creates a kind of time capsule over the car. Even after decades of use, it tends to maintain the same structural level as in its first year. And this isn't just a matter of aesthetics or noise. When the car's base remains intact, everything else, doors, windshield, axles, sensors, can operate more precisely for longer with less maintenance. Everything is literally more aligned. This change also has enormous practical implications for the production line. Casting one piece instead of assembling hundreds reduces manufacturing time, human error, and even energy consumption and fewer parts mean less chance of something going wrong later on. It's a philosophy that says a lot about Tesla in 2026. It's not just about innovating, but about rethinking the root of what makes a car age. While most continue trying to fix problems, Elon Musk and his team are busy eliminating those problems from the equation. While most manufacturers focus on large components like motors and batteries, Tesla decided to look at the small, silent culprits that often fail first. This is where the Model 2 starts to surprise even more. Suspension, bearings, hinges, and even the seats have been redesigned to last almost as long as the entire car. The idea is not just to avoid visits to the repair shop, it's to make the driver forget that these parts even exist, simply because they continue to function year after year without showing any sign of wear. One of the most emblematic examples of this revolution is in the suspension. Instead of traditional rubber bushings, which crack, harden, and creak over time, the Model 2 adopts a system called elastocomposite. It mixes elastic polymers with reinforcing fibers, creating a structure that not only resists heat and torsion, but also maintains flexibility and performance for up to 800,000 miles. That's equivalent to decades of use, even on uneven terrain. And without those annoying noises that betray the wear and tear of ordinary cars, the bearings also received special attention. Instead of the usual steel parts, the Model 2 uses hybrid bearings with ceramic balls and steel races lubricated with a special heat-resistant compound. This type of bearing is lighter, smoother, and much more durable. The estimated lifespan ranges from 300,000 to 500,000 miles. And the most interesting thing is that they also help improve the car's energy efficiency, since there is less friction in the rotation of the wheels. In other words, the part is discreet, but the impact is gigantic. And the doors? Yes, even the hinges have entered the radar for extreme durability. Tesla developed a type of anti-loosening alloy with up to 10 times greater resistance than the standard steel used in the industry. These hinges have been tested for more than 300,000 opening and closing cycles. This means that, even after decades of daily use, the doors will continue to open and close smoothly without that dreaded play that turns any door into a chronic problem. Another part that often ages poorly is the seat rails. They tend to develop play, creaks, and even jams over time. In the Model 2, these rails are calibrated with precision torque and treated with a compound that resists wear from friction. As a result, the seat adjustment remains smooth and reliable even after years. It's the kind of detail that most people only notice when it goes wrong.